good morning, everybody. Um, look, initially, what I'd like to say is thank you, I suppose, for taking time out of your weekend and attending today's regional committee meeting conference. Ed, I've been asked on behalf of all of us to do the acknowledgement of the country. Just from my point of view, I'd just like to say thanks very much. Kristen's come in this morning. She wasn't initially a part of uh, this morning. She had family commitments on. Um, so just here on the side. Uh, she has solved a massive amount of IT issues we've had this morning, changing laptops and, and redirecting some, some um, IT issues. But we know Braxton's got his first, fourth birthday on today. She's got him out of bed very, very early. I open all the presents to them. See, I've got to get to work. So, uh, look, thank you very much and appreciate everything. <laughs> Attending today, guys, we have eight community banks uh, from across three different regions in North Queensland. I want to say thank you very much for the opportunity to be here today with you all. Um, I know that we're, I'm in Serena, so I'm your, your southern partner, if you like, and um, it is a great opportunity that we all come together with a, a common cause and goal of, of bettering our business and um, communicating throughout the network. So, after this, it's really important that we understand our customers, our business, and our state office. And it's really hard for us to um, you know, prove our alternative investment and our marketing activities which is why it's really important that we look at how we're actually measured. Um, started up a Queensland steering group. We meet regularly now, so that's got Gavin as our acting state manager and myself, uh, Greg Court, our business banking lead, Gino as the financial planning lead, um, John Elwood from Rural Bank, and we meet regularly to make sure that we're all on the, the same page, that um, we can get a better um, outcome for you guys out in the field. It starts with you. Um, Cyclone Debbie that's taken a beating with regards to some of our plans but you know this one here it's proven to us that it does work now we just worked against all the odds and with any luck and good management uh, I think we will be in profit and we're so looking forward to getting that. I drop down to the bottom point, it's the product for outcome and everything that we do from that marketing point is to show that we're a full service bank. We do um, these wonderful things in the community and our customer service offering. Notwithstanding that, this wonderful model under which we operate has now got us a banking book of something over 60 million. We're very, very proud of that, and I thank my board and the wonderful team we have in Branch. We are all in the boat, rowing at the same pace, and well, not necessarily at the same pace, but we're all rowing in the same direction. And everybody's got a handle on the oar because if, if one person drops that oar, we're going to end up going around in circles and not moving. And the second part is the rural bank opportunities. A probably great example there is Cardwell, isn't it? In terms of, um, the, so the manager out of Cardwell has moved to Townsville, so the branch manager's position's vacant. So what we've done is, with the board, looked at that to go, well, let's not, does Cardwell need a full-time branch manager five days a week? Probably not. So we're going to, in partnership with um, Rebecca Roy, if anybody knows her, is going to come down sort of be based out of Innisfail, but a 50-50 joint venture and we'll mobilise her, make her a mobile relationship manager. She'll spend two or three days at Cardwell and then some time at Tully and Innisfail as well. So that's why days like today are really, really um, good things to happen so that me as your representative, I can get to talk to, to a number of people just to know the feeling of, of how you're um, community bank is progressing. But so actually, we raise money for it, and then um, the, the multi sports club, who we made a donation to last year, then made a donation to our DFIB. 
So we, you know, we got all the funds raised and it was fantastic. And on board, we're very aware of the need for demographic uh, change within our board, lower the average age, very, very important. I'm proud to introduce young Stacey Kane, one of our latest directors who's just come on board, only 20 years of age and has seen as beans. That's um, Gavin's really fond of the product to outcome, so everything we do, you know, it has to deliver a result for us after we are running the business. So for us, having this um, connection with the smaller groups has actually turned into, you know, a few really good things for our branch as well. Through the clusters, for those that are involved in that, there's a whole lot of work that we do. Everything that we do from that marketing point is to show that we're a full service bank, um, these wonderful things in the community and our customer service offering. It's been interesting being in a community bank rather than a corporate branch.